Hey, Joe Gilder here. In this recent video, how to do a quick mix reset in Studio One, I saw this comment from Kil Caserco that said, hold on, where's the video short that explains that bus folder link? And then Ian Curry says, I know, right? So this video is gonna be that video for you. Fun fact, I've already done a video about this, but this is the thing about YouTube. Just because I made a video a year or two ago, doesn't mean you saw it, so it's sometimes helpful to repeat myself occasionally just to make sure everybody, including the kid in the back, gets the memo. So here is a very, very blank song in Studio One. Nothing going on here. I normally start from a template, but this is going to show you how to get exactly what this person was asking for, and I'll explain what he's asking for as well. Let's drag some guitar tracks in. All right, so the what most people understand is that we've got some guitar tracks here, and we can create a bus for those tracks, right? We can select them all, click the first one, hold down shift, click the last one, right click and choose add bus for selected channels and that will create this blue fader that is a bus fader and we can even name this GTRs. Okay, so now our guitars is, are all right there. The other thing that you may not know and I didn't use these for a long time, is how to use folder tracks in Studio One. So if we close the mixer for a second, we just look at the arranger, you'll notice, first of all, we don't see the bus here. That's that's as expected. But let's select all of these guitar tracks, and let's right-click, and let's choose, uh, it's Pack Folder, right there. Pack Folder. That will pack them, isn't that nifty? Pack them into a folder. This is the folder. It's now collapsed. If I click on the little folder icon here, it will expand them back out, okay? I can change the color of the folder to be the appropriate color for guitars, which is usually green or blue, and all the tracks will follow. By the way, that is a setting. I uh, believe it's here. No, it's in preferences under advanced editing, apply folder track color to content. So when you change the folder color, if you want it to change all the tracks inside, that will happen. Now I can name this something like, we'll call this just guitars. Okay. Now I've got a guitar folder here that really currently is just good for letting me group things together. It's not doing much else other than like giving me all the colors. However, you'll notice if you're zoomed in enough vertically, you'll notice there's this little drop down menu here. Right now it says none. What could that be? Oh look, if we hover over it, it tells us that could be the bus channel that's assigned to this folder. So there's two things you can do. You can add a bus channel. If you don't already have a bus that exists, you can add one and it'll just create a new bus called guitars, or we could connect it to this bus that we already created. There's two different ways to do it. So if I click that, it'll change the name to guitar, which is the name of that bus. Now the two are connected. And it also changed it to the color of that bus. So if we want to go back to our beautiful green, we can. Now, what did we do there? Well, first thing you might have noticed is now we have a fader here, right? This little horizontal fader fella, which corresponds to the fader of the bus itself. It also moved the bus to the left of all of these tracks because it's now a folder that I can pack and unpack. So it's doing double duty now. It's now a bus and a folder, and these two stay connected. So when this is collapsed in the mixer, it's also collapsed in the arranger and vice versa. When I adjust the fader here, it's adjusting the fader there. And as you might have guessed, if I say I want to put an EQ across my entire guitar bus, I can drag that right onto the folder itself. And of course, as you can see, it puts the EQ right here on the bus itself. So if you've never used that, my template, let me show you my template real quick. Uh, I don't want to copy those. Go back to the start page. If I go to my mix template, you'll notice it has a lot of folders and buses already created. All my buses are here, and those are, you guessed it, already connected to all of these folders. So I've got these. These are kind of my core go-to folders that I find myself using 90% of the time, and they're all already connected to buses. Here's the added benefit. Let's grab these guitar tracks again that we just had. Just in case you didn't know about this, this will blow your mind as well. Oh, I lost the folder. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, here are those guitar tracks. So when I start a new mix, I'll drag the files into the bottom area where they're not associated with the folder. Then I'll take the tracks and drag them to the appropriate folder and something really cool happens. If the folder is already set up with the color that I want and it's already connected to the bus that I want, check out what happens. So these tracks here are all currently routed to the main output because that's what happens when you just drag tracks in. But if I drag these into my electrics folder, check it, when I let go, it moves them into the folder, it 
puts them as the same color as the rest of that folder. And when we check in the mixer, it has now routed all of them to the electrics bus. It just did a whole lot of things for me with one drag and drop. Now I did have to have that set up, but this is my template now. So I open a new song, I drag tracks in, I move them into the appropriate folder, they get routed automatically. I can't tell you the last time I actually clicked here to change the routing on something because it's all already routed for me in my template. So there you go. If you were curious about how those folders work, if you feel like the way you're working is a little slower than this, this is really fun. This just lets me, Studio One, the reason I switched to Studio One all those years ago was because of little stuff like this. It's not little, but if Efficiencies like this that made my life easier that allowed me to never have to go, for example, click the drop down menu and assign outputs anymore because it does it for me. It anticipates my need like a good friend. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.